rummage through another PC binder for you guys. Kind of a Tuesday morning. I am live. And I was just pulling out one of my binders before I, uh, before I get my day started. So I got some Will Clark cards here to start with. Love collecting Will Clark. He's actually been quite collectible on the hobby lately compared to when he first retired. These are some old Fleer box set rookies that a lot of people don't even really realize exist. So those cards are pretty cool. And then, of course, got the Toys R Us rookie, 87 Fleer. All the standard rookies. I don't have a huge Will Clark collection, but I do like dabbling in the Will Clark. He was a fan favorite with the Giants. Of course, everyone thought he was going to be a Hall of Famer or a Hall of Fame type player when he was young. But after he left San Francisco and went to Texas, things didn't really go as well for him as I think he anticipated. But forever Giant. Of course, he does work in the front office now with San Francisco. He used to be a really good TTM signer, from what I understand. Will the Thrill does not sign anymore through the mail. And I did send it off to him once, and I got a really nice return. But he doesn't sign anymore. Love that 59 tops look. Some more Will the Thrill action. Some modern mixed in with playing days cards. Cool cards there. Love, you gotta love the Allen and Ginter. This is one of my favorites, a tall boy. I, for whatever reason, I just love that set. I got a few cards from that set back in the day. Tops Gold. Man, all the art artist cards. There's the old Golden Gate Bridge in the background. Gotta love a, a San Francisco Giants card with the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. Love the old old school Diamond Kings. I don't know if that no, that one's not numbered. Score. <laughs> they made some crazy box sets back in the day. Very colorful in the late 80s, early 90s. And I believe that's a card I sent off for TTM. I got it somewhere in my collection. I don't have it in the binder that uh, Will Clark signed for me back in the day. Wish he still signed. I should have sent more off to him when I had the chance. I, I just figured he'd always sign. So it wasn't in a huge hurry. So there we go. More wheel. The thrill. Some oddball issues on that page. More there. That's funny. You got uh, th those two cards are almost the same image, but completely different sets. And then, of course, uh, all, all Will Clarks, um, like from the 90s, if you're a big Will Clark collector, and most Will Clark collectors are Giants fans, but all of his um, rare cards are not Giants cards. They're mostly Rangers and pr pretty much Rangers and Cardinals at the end of his career. These aren't super rare, but the rare parallels and stuff, none of them. Will Clark are in his Giants uniform, except for, I think, maybe the 93 Finest Refractor. That might be, like, his best Giants insert card. Love that one. This is, like, a uh, bootlegged card because Will Clark was not in the 85 Tops Olympic set. But he was on the 84 Olympic team, like Mark McGuire. A lot of people don't realize that. But that card, somebody made it probably in their garage in the late 80s, early 90s. There it is. But got to have that one in the collection. And there we go. Love that uh, Cracker Jack Will Clark. Or, or that might be the Micro. I don't know if that's a Cracker Jack or the Micro. I don't know. There we go. And now moving on. Now we got Matt Williams. So I've got some Giants fan favorites in this binder. At the, at the back end of this binder, I got the Hall of Fame catchers. Man, love that one right there. Those cards are the Naturals. That's like a box set from Pinnacle. Um, but they're really cool looking cards. These are autographs there. I just put them in the binder here. They're either person or TTM. 
Okay, so Big Harv says Micro has a pink back. <clears throat> nope. Oh, duh. It's Cracker Jack. It says Cracker Jack right there. Well, that answers the question. And then, man, just some man. That 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 Motherload set is getting real popular because it's an older Metal Universe. Love that CHP card. I got that as part of a team set, and I bought the team set because I wanted the Bond CHP card. And I was thrilled to find that there was a Matt Williams in the set as well. I wish Will Clark was in the set, but he wasn't. So some lower end inserts of Matt Williams and stuff like that. Check out that prize collection from 98 Donruss uh, collections. Love that card. Probably should put that one on a top loader. That's a pretty, pretty nice card actually. Oh man. So some other mid-end or low-end inserts of base cards. That's a nice one there. I think that one might even be numbered. Yep, out of 10,000. Pretty cool card of Matty Williams. There we go. And then there we go. Almost done with Matt Williams. And then, and then now we're moving on to the Hall of Fame catchers. So, Pudge Rodriguez. That's a nice, um, what is it, MLB Showdown. These cards are getting popular now all of a sudden. I've noticed that they're, they're selling really well, at least with Bonds. I don't know how other pl players are selling. But Pudge, great Hall of Famer. I remember one year he had more stolen bases than bases stolen against him, which is just unbelievable. There's a nice refractor right there. Look at that shine. Man, wow. Look at that etching. That's a cool card. There we go. More Pudge. Some rookies. That's like a minor league. I don't know if you would call it a minor league rookie card or just like a minor league card. However you want to describe it. No right or wrong answer, I guess. Some more Pudge action. Love that Craftsman. Some of those late 90s inserts are... That's like my favorite era, I think. Late 90s, early 2000s. Those cards are beautiful. That one's uh, that one's from the late 90s. That National Pride card right there. Now moving on to Mike Piazza. I think that's another Don Russ collection. That's actually a nice looking card there. I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at it. But that's a cool card. Very shiny. Of course, Piazza ended his career... With the Oakland Athletics, that's a nice refractor there. Piazza in an A's uniform. Man, he was really popular in like the, the late 90s, right after, right around the time he went to the New York Mets. For some reason, Piazza got really popular, maybe because he had a fan base in New York as well as, uh, as L.A., you know, kind of a fan base on East and West Coast made him real popular. Nice Ionix Nitro, kind of a low-end uh, insert. I mean, I don't have any of my bangers in this binder, so you won't find any hundred-dollar cards in here. But just just a fun assortment of base cards and low-end inserts. That's a nice refractor there. I think that one's numbered to like one ninety-nine or something. Fortune fifteen. That's a cool card. Old-school Diamond Kings. So I do have some numbered stuff. And mine's numbered to 2,500. So we got Pudge Riss or Pudge Carlton Fisk, should I say? There's a classic image play at the plate. It's a, I think a 76 tops Pudge Rodriguez card there. There we go. We got the 73 tops right there. Nice rookie cup. Cool card there. Of course, the other one's a reprint. <laughs> That one's a short print from 2011 Tops. Pudge uh, willing the ball fair. If you guys remember that home run, there's another image of him doing that. The very famous home run. I think that's the same. I think I probably put these three cards together because they're all the same at bat where he uh, willed the ball fair. Hit, hit the foul pole for a, a walk off. And we got Gary Carter. Love that one there. Nice shiny refractor looking Carter. 
of course, all the uh, vintage Carter cards. His stuff's really affordable, so um, it's uh, easy to collect Gary Carter. And I, I prefer him on a Mets and a um, Expos uniform. He he did play with the Giants. There he is with the Giants. But, um, you know, he, he wasn't really known as being a Giant. So what's Lou, what's up, Lou? Thanks for hopping in live here. Then we got Johnny Bench as well in this binder. Of course, I got all my Hall of Fame catchers in here. It's a nice 72 bench card. 70, what is that? 77, 78. That's a, for you guys that don't know, 1978 was the first year I opened up packs of baseball cards. I was just a little guy back then, but I fell in love with baseball cards in 78. Looking through my dad's collection of 59 and 60 tops cards, and then we'd go to the corner liquor store, and he'd always buy me packs when I was a little kid. And that that's not from my childhood. I don't know what happened to all those cards. I don't know what happened to those, but I love 78 tops. Just reminds me of my first experience with baseball cards. So more Johnny Bench action. Most of these are like contemporary cards that um, look a lot like the old school cards. <laughs> Big Harv says bike spokes. Yeah, yep. Of course, uh, put those in the old bike spokes. That's an Opeachy. Um, Ted Simmons. Uh, for you guys that follow my channel, I did not know who Ted Simmons was until he showed up on the ERA committee ballot for the Hall of Fame, which just to this day blows my mind because I collected, you know, from 78 all the way through the, through the 80s and I didn't know who Ted Simmons was when I was a kid. I mean, of course, his the best part of his career was in the 70s before I was really watching baseball. There's his rookie card there. So nice vintage Ted Simmons there. Then we got some Yogi Berra action. Let's play two. Of course, no, no vintage Yogi Berra in this binder. I do have a few vintage Berra cards. Same with Campanella, no vintage. Campy's that card's really cool. A nice diamond anniversary card of Campy. Man, what a great ball player. God, he was good. And then perhaps the greatest catcher, arguably the greatest catcher of all time, Josh Gibson. And never uh he never played in the American League or National League. Uh, he passed away before he had a chance to play in the American or National League of a um, brain, what is it, aneurysm, very young, and the the stress of uh, playing baseball in that era, I think, caught up to Gibson, if you, if you read about him, but boy, was he a hell of a ball player, and grateful that Car, uh, card companies have made cards of him over the years, and I do have quite a collection of him. Mo most of them are in top loaders. These are kind of my easier to find inserts and um, base cards of Gibson throughout the years. So that's it, guys. Uh, my Hall of Fame catchers, and then Will Clark and Matt Williams hang out in this binder. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed rummaging through it. I will archive this live video. I just love collecting cards, man. Um, you know, this hobby is awesome and the binders are a great way to great way to enjoy the collection. You can find a lot of affordable cards and kind of brings me back to my roots. So that's why I've been showing these off because I think that, uh, we can all use a little bit of old school rummage through the old collections and just enjoy what we have. So thanks so much for tuning in until, and as always, until next time, happy collecting.